Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I think I need to adjust the camera just a little bit. I see that we might be crooked. Hold on one second. Sorry. I don't know, does this look crooked? We're gonna make corn tortillas, and maybe it's crooked, maybe it's not. I can't, oh my. It looks a little distorted. So confusing. But in any case, we're gonna be starting in one second. Thank you for your patience. We are, I'm so happy about this and I'm dedicating this video to my friend Lisa, Avocado Cat on Instagram, and also Hungry Right Meow. Because I, I don't know, I guess COVID happened and she was like, Meg, hey Cass, um, she was like, she told me about making corn tortillas at home and the right kind of corn flour to get. So I'm going to tell you every ingredient that is used in. Cass, how does it look and how do I sound? I'm not using my mic. Um, I haven't figured out the problem and I want to make sure you can hear me and it's not weird looking wonky. So I, hi, Ani, honey, and hi, Lori. So I, you know, I love to be adventurous and learn new things with food. And I see that it's crooked. I'm so weirded out by that. Okay, I love to try new things and I love for things to be straight. Is that better? Mm. So um, she was like, try making corn tortillas and I made them by hand. I was making, no, I decided I was going to make roti before Lisa said make corn tortillas. And I started looking into the pan for Indian food to make the flatbread roti. And then I got a cast iron pan and I was making the gluten-free rotis for Indian food. And she said corn tortillas. And I said, yes. And so I made them. And then she's like, get a press. So these, I got this on um, Amazon. It's a Victoria press. You can get the tiny one or a medium one or a large one. I think this is like eight inches and it makes tortillas easily this size. And I'm going to tell you the ingredients because you're going to want to get this like ASAP. Bob's Red Mill, corn, golden corn flour, masa, M-A-S-A, harina. And so it's the Spanish word, masa is the Spanish word for dough, and it's the traditional dough to make corn tortillas. And this is going to taste so much fresher than what you buy at the store. It's going to feel so good to make it. It's made with dried corn kernels that have been cooked and soaked in lime water and then ground into masa. Um, so masa harina, dough flour, is made from dried masa. And all you have to do is take... Um, it, it, I use the recipe, two cups of the corn flour, one half teaspoon of salt, I use Himalayan, and then I heat up water in my tea kettle and I used a cup and a half of hot water, mixed it in, and you have a dough that looks like this. Hello, thank you loveys, everything's great. So you can make, already there's two missing, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can, you can judge for yourself. I think you want it a little moister than this. You want it like almost like Play-Doh, but a little stickier. And this got cut out because I made it um, an hour ago because it wants, it, it wants to. <laughs> it wants to sit for an hour before you, you do it. But I could put a little moisture on my hand and it's going to be fine. So it's really exciting. The press is like, you know, I don't usually like extra things in the kitchen, but it feels so good to have it. It feels like a celebratory food. This is a fun, fun meal to make with lots of different toppings. You can, the possibilities are endless. I'm going to show you, I recreated what I had for dinner last night and it was so good that I needed to show you. So that's usually how it goes around here. So what I'm gonna do first is show you how, I'm gonna show you, what should I do? Ingredients first so you know. Let's do ingredient list now. Um, so for the corn tortillas, you want to have the masa flour, which I just said from Bob's Red Mill. You wanna have salt and you wanna have water. And I use filtered water or spring water and heat it. Then um, you don't have to have a press. You can do it by hand. They'll be a little wonkier and not totally flat and even, but that's okay. You can press it by hand and you will maybe want a Victoria uh, press. You can make empanadas, arepas, and also roti in here. Um, it's kind of fun. You will need um, 
This is reusable. I'm using a Ziploc bag that I cut so that when I put the ball of dough in here, it doesn't stick. So it's gonna go like this, like this, and then I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna show you how. And then you're gonna have a tortilla that looks like this. This is unheated. And you're not really cooking it, you're just heating it. And this is what it looks like after it's heated, right? And you can keep them warm by covering them with a towel. Uh, but you really want to eat them right away. I think, in my opinion, I think that I could make a bunch of these, store this in the fridge, and then heat them tomorrow morning. But I don't know. I've not done that. I've only done them right away. So I have a whole, um, what made it so exciting last night is that I had roasted carrots and squash that I heated up. So I remade the roasted carrots. So this is carrots and in a bowl, I put the raw carrots with Nouveau white truffle oil. Oh my goodness. You can use any olive oil, but I like Nouveau, N-U-V-O. And the white truffle's amazing. And then I put in some spices in a bowl. It's so nice when you roast, before you roast vegetables, not to drizzle it on in the pan, but to give it a good mix so everything is coated. Uh, I used thyme. I wanted rosemary. I couldn't find it. Um, and I used some turmeric. I love to add turmeric to every meal. It's anti-inflammatory. So I have this diaspora company, um, single origin heirloom turmeric, and I need to get another one because I used it all up. D-I-A-S-P-O-R-A -A company, okay? So then I have the thyme, the turmeric for the carrots, and I use some No Woman, No Spice. It's like a Jamaican allspice, garlic, coconut sugar, sea salt, habanero powder, coriander thyme, black pepper, and cinnamon if you want to do your own. You don't need the coconut sugar. The carrots are sweet enough, um, but you can add if you like. And salt, right? So that's the carrot ingredients. If anybody wants to write it, feel free. Um, I had this red pepper uh, dish. I wanted red pepper, but I don't like to eat raw red pepper. You can. You can have raw onions, raw red pepper, and some serrano peppers. I sauteed this in, really important because I'm loving this product, Nutiva coconut oil, butter flavor. So I put a little bit of this in a pan, and all it is is onions, these cute little serrano peppers, spicy and some red pepper and that makes it hot and spicy and um i purchased guacamole of course you can make your own um i just 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 had it at air one and i like there so this is arugula um guacamole and i love to make avocado mashed with lemon juice for my guacamole so avocado lemon juice salt and I usually put in a little dulse although maybe not with this situation and some onion and mine is really simple and salt my guacamole you can just use mashed avocado and salt in lime or lemon chopped cilantro for the top and I love to add a whole bunch of arugula because then I'm getting my greens on a squeeze of lime at the end. And I didn't have last night a uh, queso fresco, fre <laughs> the cheese or the, the sour cream. And I know that I can make a cashew sour cream with cashews and a lot of lemon juice and salt. Um, I can make something sour creamy. Um, I can also make a, a cream cheesy. I can also make an almond ricotta. I can also just buy this Greek style almond yogurt, almond milk yogurt from Kite Hill any of, if you need that. You don't need it, it was great without it, but I thought it would be fun. And that, oh, and then, da, da, da. <laughs> there's a lot of components, you don't need to use all of them. You could just do arugula, avocado, salt, lime, and happy day. But this was just fun for me to have a whole uh, plethora of fun toppings. And then, okay, so I saute mushrooms 
all the time. I will eat a massive salad and then saute mushrooms and put them on top and I'm happy. That's why I call myself a raw fusionist. I used to be 100% raw for 10 years and then cook food, but I like to do mostly raw with a little bit of cooked. So for me, eating raw all day and having a dinner like this is perfect. Um, and having cooked onions or cooked garlic or cooked mushrooms is so nice to top. So what I did was I did the Nutiva butter flavored coconut oil and I put fresh chopped garlic, a lot of it. And I always, always, always use sage. See, I'm always, almost out of my dried ground sage that I buy a very big bag of it and I refill. Most of my spices I buy in bulk from Frontier Co-op, Frontier Organics, or from Mountain Rose Herbs, love that company. So I encourage you to buy your things that you use a lot, fill them in the pretty little glass jars, label them either on the front, if your spice, spices are looking at you, you wanna get washi tape, that Japanese tape and a Sharpie and just have them, have them be visible, have them be handy, have them be current and have them be fresh and use them because they're medicine for us, okay? So this had salt, sage, garlic, and that's it. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the, um, the, da -da -da, the, <laughs> the, the tortilla, because that's what this is about. I was thinking, oh, I can make the, uh, que what's it called, the queso fresco, that like sour cream, it's just like a sour cream, Mexican sour cream. I could make that, I could make, oh, I could take walnuts and take the raw or cooked mushrooms. I could blend these mushrooms, grind some walnuts and maybe some flax, ground flax, and do like a walnut meat, which I've done many times here on YouTube in the past. Um, and then you have a little ground hardiness. So basically, hi Deb, you love my channel and I'm looking great, I thank you. Happy holidays, Annalisa, Lucy. Yes, I, I saw on Instagram, you didn't realize I'm doing scheduled every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's Venice Beach, California time. And um, that's on Tuesdays where I'll usually be wearing red or orange. Last video, I matched my persimmon. I made a persimmon something and I was wearing persimmon color for Tuesday, Mars Day, red. If you don't know what I'm talking about, join me on Instagram, Dara DuVernay. And you can see that in my highlights, what colors to wear for what day. And today is Sunday, ruled by the sun. So I'm all sunny. So let's see if this is moist enough. We put it in the middle, the cut up Ziploc bag, which I save. It's really important for the environment. And then we just kind of close it and give it a little nudge down. You don't want to squash it too tight because then you're going to have like something too thin. And then I'm going to turn, sorry, can you see? Then I'm just going to turn it the other way. You don't have to do that, but it's going to flatten out over here a little nicely. And uh, voila. And then I take this beautiful tortilla that is even because that way it's going to heat evenly, right? And then I'll just put this on a skillet while well, we have a lot of light coming in. It goes, I have a cast iron pan, but really you just need a pan. Um, any pan. I got these from Food 52. It's called a green pan. And I got some different multicolors, different sizes. So green pan and it's ceramic and that will heat it. You just make sure that it's heated to medium, um, like a medium high, a medium flame. Heat the pan and then put the tortilla on. And you just wait till it looks like it's cooked a little bit on either side. Not very long and that's it. That's the jam. So we're gonna make one. We're gonna assemble. Okay, this is not all for me, but it could be all for me because all of this would, all of this would stay. The guacamole, the cilantro, the arugula, the roasted carrots. You could put in the fridge and reheat. Uh, red peppers reheat. Mushrooms maybe. Yeah, why not? You could. You could make it all in advance and reheat it. I'm sipping on my matcha.
Yes. If, hi, Cheryl. So how many of you guys are here from Instagram? Because I was like, I finally made a post that I'm making. Usually I just tell people in my stories, hey, going live. But I think some of you have come and some of you, it's a crossover family. Like it's both families need to combine because we're all interested in the same things. Eating healthy is the first thing so that we detoxify our bodies so we can hear the divine and our own hearts for what we're supposed to do here in our lives. To get further information on our dharma or our life direction, we want to look to know what our North Node sign is. And I made videos for each North Node sign that you can purchase. They're little, they're fun, and they're actionable steps to sparking joy for yourself and getting into your soul's evolution and life direction because your north node is like your spiritual shining star. If you want to know maybe why you're not so happy, I will be describing in the video your south node, which represents your karma, what you've dragged into this lifetime. It literally spells out your shadow behavior. It's like, it's wild. It's like serious aha moments. And then you want to know the house placement where your north node lives and i show you how to look that up for free on my website so you want to go to north in my life tools north node part one north node part two find out yours get in your direction and also know your astro geography which i have a mini life tool for that that you can use forever so we are going to assemble and then I'm going to eat. Oh, yeah, you're here from Instagram. That's so fun. I mean, I a lot of people that have joined me on Instagram and I love you guys didn't know even that I have like 10 years that I was raw foodist for 10 years. And now I am a raw fusionist, as I call it, a high grain raw fusionist. <laughs> so it goes like this. We just could do some. I like to do, do the spready things first. Let's make it all look pretty here so you can see all of my components. This one, so I like to have my food be colorful. It's one of the reasons I left some raw, raw onion for the top. Um, and that's what I like to do. So you can see all the fixings. So fun. Let's see if this is in the way. Everything pretty is important too. Like I was going to add this into a little dish. So if I'm having a party or I'm having like a make your own tortilla, this would not be in here. Everything needs to be in coconut bowls. Um, these are from Justa Home Goods. There's a restaurant called Justa in Venice Beach, California. And the woman who uh, procures the items. The, this plate is from Oaxaca, Mexico. They have the best things and they're not super expensive and they just make you feel, they make my Taurus North Node because I love beauty and I'm here to, ex to experience, I'm here to experience um, material beauty things that grow in the earth and the or the pottery and material possessions actually help Taurus North Node um, evolve on a soul level. Think about that. It's amazing. Like for Taurus North Node, you get to like, the more you enjoy material abundance um, and work hard for it and gain your self-worth that way, the happier you're going to be. And so for each of the nodes, there's a plan. <laughs> okay. So this is a uh, Kite Hill Greek style yogurt. I said that earlier. We need a list. We're going to, oh, we have, we're going to do the guac. And the guacamole, sometimes you can make your guacamole spicy. That's very nice. Something here needs to be spicy, in my opinion. I also, in my human design, and you maybe want to see Jenna Zoe, uh, her website, My Human Design, then you can know what, um, how you're supposed to be eating to help you digest life better. And I am hot. <laughs> I, call, I call myself a hottie. In human design... I need hot things. So yes, I was raw for, I would say 99% raw for 10 years, but I had hot tonics. So if any of you are interested in my tonic recipes, I have a tonics ebook. I have my answer on how to be raw and that's my soups and smoothies ebook, all raw. So you have your soups and smoothies and your tonics and you're going to feel unbelievably good, young, healthy, fit, beautiful, um, lighter and your spirit will be higher and lighter. And then um, I have the Doobies Do the Holidays ebook, which is like comforting, gorgeous food. And um, that's how I was able to 
tonics all the time. They warmed my spleen. I was never imbalanced. So we're going to have some shrooms. And we're going to have um, some of red pepper with serrano peppers. That's going to make it spicy. So I like spicy. I like hot. We'll do a little bit of the carrots, a little bit of the cilantro. And I think I like one of the reasons that I like the Greek yogurt, the almond yogurt, or any kind of white sauce. Oh, I want the white sauce before that is because um, I like the <laughs> contrast in color. It's like an art project, really. Oh, you don't need a lot. Here we go. Doesn't that look like something so you'd be so proud to serve someone or yourself if you're bored of the same thing over and over again? If you want to have your veggies with maybe you're used to having gluten-free bread or crackers or usually people want to have a salad or veggies with something like with a little substance like little potatoes or bread or this gives you a way to have them with new flavors. Um, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I am not. This is not, Annalisa, your mother made homemade tortillas. I'm sure I would learn something. Rice and beans, how gorgeous. For nine kids growing up, this fills you. It's satisfying. It's homey. Um, how beautiful. That's really sweet, you guys. So happy holidays. Um, I think we kept this pretty short. Um, I did a lot of prep in advance for you all because I wanted to be prepared. Oh, I can squeeze a little bit of lime with my Mexican lime juicer. Ta -da! A little zest. We all could use a little more spice in our lives, a little more zest, a little more excitement, and it really is art. I, I agree with you, Christine. Thank you, Cheryl Lee and EOT. <laughs> Thank you. So cheers, everybody. Get your grains on. Be whatever you eat. Just make sure there's a lot of greens. Have a high grains diet. When people tell me they're vegan or they're this or they're that, it doesn't tell me how healthy they are. It, what do you eat? What are you eating? And if it's a lot of organic, high vibration food made with love, gosh, the world would be such a better place if everyone was eating like this. So happy day. And I'm going to see you guys for sure on Tuesday. And until then, or in between, get your greens on. Yes. Wait, that, wait, I was about to hang up. And Christine has said, you have been inspiring us for a long, long time. I've been making tonics, tonics since 2006 when I went raw. And I started my YouTube channel a couple years after that. So it's been a lot. There is a lot of inspiration here, and I'm so glad to be able to still be doing this. It is my joy and pleasure. So hiya and bye. So scroll back, Pete, and watch this whole thing because it's a fun, fun food. See you soon.